Welcome back to SVR06 GM Mode. I am your host, Attack Slug, and it is time for the Great American Bash on the show today. But first, we have our contractual obligations with Haas, Shelton, Cena, Regal, and Jericho. Now, obviously, day of the show, importantly, Jericho and Cena need to have their deals that with first, everyone else can otherwise do otherwise. But we don't want a Jeff Jarrett or Ultimate Warrior situation. So, let's hop in here to the roster and renew some contracts, shall we? So, the roster, the contracts, the sorting. Now, Chris Jericho, how much do you want for additional weeks on your deal? 432k for a three-month deal, yes. Bring me that for Chris Jericho. Now then, it's going to be more costly, I know, for John Cena because it's John Cena. He's at an 86 overall in his pop and a 90 in his stats. So, contractually, he wants half a million dollars. I have 2.6 mil in the bank. Let's do that. Now, otherwise, I think that we're going to let Haas's contract expire because he's at like 20 in popularity, it's not even, like, look, 25 in his pop is not even worth re-signing. We'll just let him walk and do that thing. However, I do like Shelton, and I do like Regal, even if I need to have them around for being jobbers. It's kind of, somebody has to. And Regal, with an overall of 82, should be way higher than he is. But just bad luck on his part, and I'm going to give him five weeks for 100 grand. And same deal with Shelty here at 129k for that. Which brings my budget down to a cool 2 mil in my bank. Actually, no. Less than that. 1.8 available because we're booking a pay-per-view at 150k off the bat. Even before having to book anything crazy like a Hell in a Cell match. So, in the meanwhile, Haas, do what you want. You're free to go. Big show in a few weeks here, and then Scotty, Tajiri, Book, Mankind, R.E.D., and then we get into, hey, all these nine-weekers, yeah, we're gonna need a lot of money for those nine-weekers, uh, cause, yeah, video games. So, we know our current champions are The Rock, E.N.C., Cena, and R.V.D. We know our thumbs up on everything besides our brand new Cruiserweight rivalry, which means that this show should, should knock things out of the park. I'm not going to guarantee it, but it should do some gangbusters business on that pay-per-view. Otherwise, we know that in our reports, we have gone down additionally from the last show, but we should make it back and spike up above Raw with a pay-per-view easily. I'm not going to say guaranteed, but it should happen easily. So, on the schedule for the Great American Bash, Dover, Delaware, the main event, the long-awaited return to the main event's title contention. Actually, no, before that, don't want to get ahead of myself here. What's the fatigue looking like here on the show? So, yeah, it's fine. We can book crazy things on this show and be okay. But the morale, I know mankind wants a shot at a title. John Cena is tired of losing and Mankind wants that shot, and Ray tired of losing, and Steve, we know, getting his shot right now, happening today. So otherwise, you guys, I hope you win, but I'm not going to guarantee it because we have big-time matches to book. I'll deal with your requests on SmackDown. So, the main event, long-awaited, and it's going to be a hardcore, no-rules, main event, between The Rock and Stone Cold Steve Austin. So that will be for the World Heavyweight title. 98-92 hardcore title match. We're doing that. Now, in match number five, we will have a hell in a cell. That's right. Mankind and Shawn Michaels both specialize in hell in a cell. So, with those two in a consistent feud, with a thumbs up, that, in theory, this should go excellently with that matchup. 
So, Mankind at 91. HBK is at 80. That should be a great match in Hell in a Cell at $43,000. Now, our tag team titles. Gonna happen here in a regular tag team. Regular tag team contest. It's going to be Edge and Christian versus Randy Orton and uh, Booker C. Tell me I didn't just say that. So, tag team titles. We're going to open the show with the Cruiserweight brand new feud title. And that's going to be, I guess, a ladder match. So, main event, ladder match, singles, Rey Mysterio, and Rob Van Dam. Now, we also have, actually, now that I think about it, if we're going all out, we're going hardcore, then why wouldn't this be a TLC match? Like, bro, Edge and Christian in a TLC match. I'm an idiot. So, main event, TLC. When you consider how low everyone's fatigue is, then we should do some gangbusters business here. Now, with The Big Show and Chris Jericho, I'm going to put them in a cage match. Actually, hold on, I think that I should book Cena and Batista over... Uh, yeah, so let's change that, change that, change that, back out. Match number two is the cage match. Big Show, Chris Jericho, cage match. And match number three, the mid-card match for the mid-card title. Let's do main event. Let's do last man standing on that. So singles, last man standing. It's going to be a Batista versus John Cena. Both men at 86. Evenly matched here in their popularity. And it's for that U.S. title. That is a $300,000 pay-per-view. And will hopefully bring me much more than that in the gate, in the buy rate, in the ratings, most importantly. How can Raw possibly compete with Ray vs. RVD cruiserweight ladder match? Big Show Jericho in a cage. Last man standing, John Cena Batista, U.S. Championship, Edge and Christian, hold on, title for Booker T, Randy Orton, TLC, Mankind, Shawn Michaels, Hell in a Cell, and the hardcore main event, The Rock vs. Stone Cold Steve Austin World Heavyweight title. That is, to quote Sheamus, banger after banger after banger. Let's go. I'm ready. Locking it in. Here we go. Rey Mysterio, RVD, Simulates, and RVD still cruiserweight champion. Big Show, Jericho, who escapes the cage? Big Show escapes the cage. Cena, Batista, last man standing. It is John Cena with the win he wanted, which is awesome. Edge and Christian, will they retain those tag team titles? No, we have new tag team champions book and the Viper, Mankind, Shawn Michaels, Hell in a Cell. HBK wins the match. And now, hopefully my voice holds up. It is time for The Rock and Stone Cold Steve Austin. And Austin never lost that title. Welcome to the great American Bash. The people's champ, the corporate champ, is in the building. He lost it to Austin in the hell, at Hell in a Cell. And Austin hurt his ribs and was out for six weeks. However, after 30 days, Austin was unable to defend and therefore had to be struck of the title. And The Rock won it back in that six-man main event over-the-top rope battle royal. So certainly a chip on the shoulder of Austin, who never lost that title, and he retained at Hell in a Cell. Can he win it back here from The Rock at the Great American Bash in this hardcore match, or will the Great One prevail as champion? Certainly something to prove here from Steve Austin, the Rattlesnake. Steve Austin. 
there is a bottom line, and we're about to find out just where, when, and how that bottom line will affect The Rock. Will the SmackDown get laid, or will the Rattlesnake well, strike with that stunner and defeat the Great One? Ding, 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 here we go. Biggest possible main event on this show, and there are no disqualifications. All weapons are legal. Anything goes hardcore, which is Austin's, like, that's his thing. I, I expect a lot of brawling here, and already to the outside. Already a chair on the outside, and Rock is free to use that chair at any given time. And hopefully... We'll see Austin fight back with that stunner, but you never know how it's going to go. No count outs here. None of that. So brawl to your heart's content, but the match must end in the ring with that three count. So somebody got to get it done with that mud hole and walk in it dry. So Austin just is has all that pent up anger for six long weeks on the shelf with busted ribs and just watching his title be taken from him without actually losing it. He is very, very upset. Understandably. Whack. Nope. No chair. Solid steel. Rock has the chair. And Austin backing up. Wisely, man. Wisely. Oh, dueling chairs. Who will strike first? Austin gets him and whiffs that second shot totally. And now two chairs in the ring. Austin downstairs. Referee just... All you're here for is counting the pin, ref. So don't even get in any of this because there are no rules in this hardcore contest. Now, Austin is inching ever towards that Stone Cold Stunner. Chair again. No. Rock catches it and Austin whiffs the spear or whatever. And again, these dueling chairs is just very awkward. Very awkward. There it is. Right across the face. Solid freaking steel, bruh. Austin now, from behind, no, the back elbow, Rock does not want to lose that gold, it means everything, if you aren't in this business, wanting a title, then why are you even here, and the Rock wants, it, by any means, to retain that title, but here's to ya, says old Stone Cold, who is just about at that stunner, and we see a short match here, it's quite possible, if these chairs continue being in play, we could see a very short match. Because that is just steel to the dome. Austin. Dominance. Austin has finish. Will we see that Stone Cold stunner and have this match get done immediately? Rock is actually pretty bad there in his head. All those chair shots. Gonna do it to you. Stores the finish. Misses the, the chair. Rock back at him. Whips the chair shot. Stone Cold. I think he hit him. I can't tell. But Rock now glitches into the laying down, because why not? Anyhow, come on now, Steve. Austin! Austin! What do we got? By God! It's Stone Cold! Stone Cold! Stone Cold! And no, The Rock fights back. The Rock with the gut kick. The Rock does not want to feel that breath at Stone Cold Center. One more time. And Austin, back elbow. Fist of fire. Fist of fury from the Great One. Austin catches it. Gut kick? Oh. Down. With the arm wrench. And no, that was not the finish. I thought it might have been, but no, it was not. So again, back to the chairs. And back to the dueling chairs in this matchup. Rock again with the chair. Austin thought better of it. Austin wants another chair. Dueling chairs all the live long day in this contest. But we want to see a finish from one of y'all. Crack. Krakatoa. Oh, man, I think Austin is busted open now. Just definitely rocked, but not busted open. No pun intended. So, Austin again with the chair. Go for that deep damage on The Rock, who is like, you know what, I'm going to just hang out for a little bit here. Just chill out, just relax. Get an equalizer. Once again, dueling chairs. Who will crack first? And no, just the crisscross applesauce on that business. Guys, you need to win this matchup if you'd like to try to win. There we go. Something. There we go. Busted open is the rock. Head in the red. Is that enough? There's no rope break. One, two. A very uneventful win there 
for Stone Cold on that headshot. But that is how that story should end, with Austin reclaiming the title he never lost and being victorious over The Rock. So, once again, your world heavyweight champion, Stone Cold Steve Austin. Congrats, Steve. Now get that man some bears. That was the show. Give me all the stars. Give me all of the stars. The ink is wet, but it's a done deal. So, Shawn Michaels injured. 750,000 on that. Raw, three and a half. Smackdown. One, two, three, four, five. I told you, I stacked the freaking deck. Raw, 4.5 million. Smackdown, 5.4 million fans. So how long is HBK out now? Minor. Oh, thank God. A sprained knee. So that means that Mankind and HBK can continue, which is great. So awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Now, exit. Let's go look at the reports and look at the results. Two and a half, four, five, three and a half, five, five, five times, five times, five times. Okay. But we're only back up to 2.2 million, so we didn't make that much money on that show. But importantly, over here in the fan support, spiking way back up is SmackDown. So that means we are officially on the road to SummerSlam on this show. So, looking at our calendar, we have one, two, three SmackDowns, and then it's SummerSlam time here. And that is a joint show between Raw and SmackDown. So, I'm not sure how it's going to work yet, but it's in Fresno, and we'll get there when we get there. So, let's check on our roster and say rivalries. Three thumbs! It finally happened! Thank God. It's still good. Now... One week, thumbs, eight weeks, thumbs, four weeks, thumbs, six weeks, thumbs, eight weeks, thumbs. Can we keep that going and crush Raw up until SummerSlam is the question. Boy, I hope so. I hope so. So, uh-oh, uh-oh, can we, unsatisfied, Chris, what do you want? What do you want? A title match soon. Mankind, we know, wants Gold soon. Shawn Michaels wants gold soon. Ray wants to stop losing. And The Rock, bro, you just lost one time. You lost one match, Rock. One match, and you're mad about it. Man, prima donnas. So, fatigue level. HBK, Batista, John Cena, Mankind, Big Show, and then it's kind of, yeah, all right. Doing it, and doing it, and doing it well. So, we got that one minor injury to HBK there. Four weeks. It's fine. So, yes, tomorrow, one more for the week, and the road to SummerSlam begins. I am your host, Attack Slug. Thanks for watching. More videos right here. I'll see you next time. And I'm out!